Hey there guys, Neil here, back with an app review. Um, in this case, it's going to be a lock screen, much like you see here, and it goes by the name of Next Lock Screen. So you might be wondering why install this lock screen. I have one that comes with my device or the one I have is perfectly good enough. Well, Next Lock Screen offers a few things that or a few additional features that enhances what you already get with on Android, uh, most notably the default or stock Android lock screen and a few other things along the way. So the first thing you're gonna do before we get into the lock screen itself and you've once you've installed the app from Google Play is you're actually going to go into your settings, make sure that a couple of options or a couple of settings are enabled. Uh, most notably under accessibility, you're gonna make sure that um, next is a little bit enabled there and then also in um, under security you're going to make sure that it's set or um, next lock screen is enabled as a device administrator so um, a few other options work a little bit better with the android ecosystem once that is done um, let's go through some of these um, settings to show what it offers in itself so in the settings menu the first thing you'll obviously see is to have next lock screen enabled so you'll make sure it's on um, one of its main features that I like is that it has security options built in so if you want to use um, your systems um, screen locking feature you can do that if you have a fingerprint sensor then you can do that. Um, the, as you can tell, my my device does not have a fingerprint sensor, so I can't use that. But if you want to use your uh, device's own security settings, you can do that. But Next Lock Screen also supports pattern and pin security. So if you want it all within the app, then that can be done as well. Um, and so nothing special there. You have pattern, you have a pin number, whatever you're comfortable with. Next can handle it. Um, it also has a display setting for your uh, status bar. So if you want the, your system status bar, uh, compact one, or um, the status bar to be hidden, then you can do that as well. Um, so this is what the compact one looks like up here at the top. Um, going back into the settings. Oh, well, I guess I should go into the right settings. Um, and then if you want it to be hidden, you can do that as well. I just have this default one set up just for the sake of consistency. Um, you can also have a custom uh, wallpaper, or I don't want to say custom, but you can also have the wallpaper of your lock screen set to be your uh, being wallpaper of the day or have it just be whatever matches your home screen. So um, you can see a number of um, wallpapers already uh, that come with it. I have it set to the daily being wallpaper, so it automatically sets, and I have it downloaded on Wi-Fi just to save that little bit of data charges. So it's, that's especially good for people who are um, on uh, mobile data a lot, or you may be traveling and you don't want to have to worry about your lock screen using up your um, data plan. So that definitely is a plus. I kind of like that feature just to have a unique wallpaper every day. It's something I don't have to worry about. Um, you also have a power saving mode, so if you want to disable or if you wanted to control how your device's background services are operating and things like that, you can um, um, have that enabled and managed by Next Lock Screen. I don't really necessarily need it, so I keep that disabled and I don't need to worry about that. And then I have the weather options disabled as well, or the weather settings disabled as well, so I don't have to worry about um, weather refreshing all the time in the background. Um, th one of the best things I like about Next Screen though is the ability to have um, notifications on my lock screen. So um, if you have an app that has that provides notifications, let's say Gmail or Facebook or Instagram, whatever app you have installed that may have a notification, it will um, show up on your lock screen. Um, and then you can include other things as well, so notably uh, calendar events, so I have that turned off at the moment. I don't really need it as... I don't really need my ca too many appointments set up in my on my smartphone. You can have missed call notifications, so if you miss a call, you can see who called you. Uh, hangouts, or sorry, um, text messages. So whatever your default text messaging is app app is for me, it's Hangouts. And then also show your music player. So if you're listening to Pocket Cast or Google Play Music or Pandora, um, you can have those controls show up as well. 
And finally, you can have weather on your lock screen. So if you want to, if you want a quick glance of what the temperature is, you can do that. Um, I don't really need it. Google now shows that to me, and then I have a weather widget on my home screen, so um, it shows up, um, or my weather shows up there anyway. So it's kind of duplicate. So. Um, I think I already have a notification. So, uh, for example, Google now showed a notification also show up. So, um, let's say you want to see that, or let's say there's a notification that isn't necessarily supported or doesn't have a full notification to show up. That's a kind of a secondary or non important notification. You'll see it listing for others right here and a down arrow and how and also the number of pending other notifications. So, touching the down arrow will show you what that those other notifications are and if you want to clear them that also shows up as an option you have the three bars here so you can clear those as well, away as well and those go away um, and then um, before I get into the next feature or the, fo or the following feature there is also the ability to launch apps from your lock screen as well so the settings in next um, lock screen allows you to single tap or double tap to launch the app for me i just have it to set to single tap because i want to get to that app as fast as possible and then you can also hide apps if you don't want things certain apps to show up or you find that you don't really need to launch them in general then you can have them blacklisted mm -hmm. so uh, with that let's take a look at that as well so on the bottom of the screen you'll see that there's a default camera icon so swiping up like that will launch the camera mm -hmm. app uh, so nothing there and it has a nice smooth transition there um, and then recently I used Gmail I think I used Google search recently as well so the micro voice search icons there um, I use the ESPN tournament app the phone app Chrome. so recent um, um, apps that you use based on your time and all that mm -hmm. also show up and then contacts as well that you may have recently talked to so I recently talked to my parents and a friend of mine so those show up and then you have quick toggles show up as well for uh, Wi-Fi Bluetooth uh, flashlight mobile data and um, battery saving mode so if you want to turn on battery saver then that is also an option those are not customizable and one feature that I found that I think is related to the beta app is the um, customizability of various features so if you find that let's say I have my, I have my work setting and I want a different app to show up I can remove the that app and I can add another app but um, at some point there's also the ability to set, have permanent certain apps always show up so I'm not sure if that's a beta part of the beta feature or something they're testing out as far as time goes but uh, basically based on your app usage and your location you'll see different apps show up so they're generally a mix between frequent apps and apps you use a lot so you have quick access to those as well and then at the bottom you have the auto brightness setting so um, if you want to keep it disabled or uh, manually adjust that without, without having to unlock your screen then that is also an option so that is really all there is for that it's a pretty nifty app i initially only installed it really because i wanted to have my no my notifications show up um, on my lock screen um, and not and see what was available to me that doesn't require root or an exposed module um, and this came up and I actually found that it's very useful as far as getting weather appointments various other notifications and when you do have a notification um, all it requires is swiping right like that on the app notification itself and it'll launch that app so if you have a new email or multiple emails or you have a whatsapp message or an instagram like or something like that you all you have to do is swipe right the your device unlocks and you can launch the app and then if you have a security code or pattern set then it'll require that first be in order to get to that app or unlock your device in general um so that's really all there is for that and now let's say um you want to join the beta community get some of the latest features and all of that that is also an option um, it is via Google Plus, so uh, you will need to sign in, join the community, and get in that way. But um, a lot of the features and um, or a lot of features are generally the same. The only known thing that I've really seen that just changed recently is how the app launching uh, works and how their categories at the bottom of the lock screen. But other than that what you see is what you get and um, it's very full feature and you have quick and easy access to 
your notifications and something that I actually was considering asking about is to get have the screen to automatically turn on when we get we get a new notification kind of like AC display and if that's even possible but that's neither here nor there but the app or the lock screen itself is very nifty I mainly use it for the ability to see my notifications and get to them quickly but there are other features that may be of use to you so that's really all there is for that so that's next lock screen in google play available for free um and then i think it's also part of microsoft's garage projects as part of various um releases that they're releasing for um android ios and windows phone this lock screen is only for android so just a heads up there but if you have any questions comments concerns anything like that you can email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com or you can find me on twitter at patel n01 but that is all for that so thanks for watching and listening and until next time